All right, good evening. We are in the beginning of the evening. You can see the light is still bright out there. Um, so I'm just gonna get right into this. Um, where should I begin and how should I begin? Um, I want to talk, okay, okay, here's the thing. You know, there are people, there, there are guys and they do any kind, anything. I'm talking about any kind of activity, whether it's a sport, hobby, paid, work, business, whatever it is, whatever they do. And I, I, I've seen guys like this. Um, they can be very quiet. Um, they're non-threatening. Um, they are introverts. Uh, usually, or, or you know, extroverts with their friends or, or whatnot, but 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 most of the time they like to be introverted. Uh, they just don't. Maybe they just don't have the energy or or, or whatnot, or, or or they don't have the desire. Um, typically, people will identify this type of person and be like, okay, I no, I've seen a lot of people. Like, That's fine. Hey, dude, uh, maybe he's um, what, what am I thinking? Maybe he's taking admission tickets to an uh, some kind of event or or, or, or something and you don't really mind you say oh hey how's it going hey how you doing and he doesn't really reply and you go well that's fine All right and you walk away and he's good now uh if you got a guy sitting there um and you're looking at him this guy's like this guy's got no person this guy's got nothing why does he think he's the shit why does he think that he's the illest why does he think that you know and instead of even saying something to him you stay quiet right give him a little just a little look but you don't want him to know you don't want him to see it so give him a little look you take your admission ticket you pay him the money you take the admission ticket and you walk away and you walk away with a lingering feeling about this guy that you know nothing about and you just met him but he found a way to get on your nerves he found a way to upset you um you say you know you know what you know what i mean what an idiot right you go home after the event and you lie down and go to sleep and you find yourself thinking about the same guy. You're still thinking about that same guy. Now you're starting to become a little obsessed. You start calling your friends who, who work who, who in the event. You want to find out who he is, what family he belongs to, what he does. So you call these guys, you ask him to say, you know what? He doesn't really have a family, uh, to be honest. I mean, uh, for as long as we've known, he's always been on his own. Uh, everything he ever did was on his own. Uh, you know what I mean? He, he doesn't even really, he doesn't really identify with the family really. Or he identifies with the family from his actual uh, race or his actual nation. Uh, he doesn't really identify with, with other families. Okay, okay. Well, who does he know? Uh, we're not sure. We were under the impression that he definitely at least knew some people or, or we thought he was legit. That's why, that's why we gave him the job. Listen, I want you to make sure that you never hire him again. You got it? Not even can you not hire him again. If he calls you, don't pick up his calls. Don't call him. Don't talk to him. And let him fucking struggle out there and get a shitty fucking job at McDonald's. All right? Okay, well, you know, he's not exactly our asset or, or our family member or our cousin or anything. Uh, it's not really that important. Okay, okay, okay. He, we promise, he's never, he's never, we're not even going to talk to him anymore. Beautiful. Right? <laughs> now, I'm that guy sitting there with the second guy in the last story. All right, so here's the thing. So, you know, either somebody is the illest um, or they're not, right? And, and who thinks so and who doesn't think so? Um, here's my thing though. For me, um, I've lived a life in obscurity. You know, I call it the shadow life, but it's a life in obscurity. And it's, and, and it was like that from the moment I was born. And, uh, and I continued it, um, exactly the way that it was given to me. And I played it exactly the way it, it, it felt, um, thinking that, you know, that, that I would never get out of it, that this was my reality forever. Um, not really understanding, you know, that, that I could get out of it. There was any way, uh, I didn't see any practical way. Not that I felt less capable. I felt very capable, but I was like, and, and to be honest, I felt, I felt highly capable and, and definitely on a high level. But I, I was like, dude, whatever this is, this life, it's never going away. This is my life, you know, with no recollection of, of really who I really was when I was younger or, or how I was. And not understanding who I was uh, or anything, 
I, I really thought it was all lost. I thought uh, I was gonna live in this like personalized slave, like my like a self-made slave, uh, not slaved into anyone, just slave unto himself to live in in slavery. Uh, discipline and and big risk decisions brought me out of it, right? And and I'm out of it now. But the point is that I'm at this point where I got a way that I just am, you know, the way that. Like, like, I don't really get tested on it. Um, people will usually just eat it up um, and they'll accept it. And then they may go on their way with a bad lingering feeling thinking, I want to fuck this guy's life over. Um, I want him to be in obscurity. I want no one to pay attention to him. I want him to be the loser in our society. He has a presence all of a sudden. I don't like it at all. I want him to be a loser in society. I want him to work the shittiest minimum wage job that he can get. And I want him to pay his way for a shitty fucking apartment and eat shitty food, not have cable, and just have and, and have a shitty computer where he can play shitty fucking games all day for all I care. And that's how I want him to live. That will make me slightly happier. To make him drastically worse off would make me just the slightest bit happier, just the slightest bit content. Oh, sorry, Queen Mary. I didn't know you were the fucking queen of the fucking world. All right, <laughs> moving on, moving on, all right? So here's my thing. Living for, for, for that long. I feel like at this point, I have to speak up. You know, I have to speak up. I have to take initiative. Right? And it's not that I'm trying to get a job and talk about how I go above and beyond or anything stupid like that. Um, it's just that it's just that uh, I, I, I will put the effort in where the or the initiative where the initiative is necessary. If it's to the point that people are ignoring you, unwilling to listen to you, uh, expecting you to be on good behavior and not say anything. At, at that point, I believe that I should be um, stating the obvious. Um, who I am and, and, and the kind of, and, and I know this sounds bad, but look at it this way. It's like somebody throwing a hard uh, fastball like at your head uh, when they're pitching. Uh, imagine a girl throwing a fastball at your head or a woman saying that my father deserves better than you, whereas her father is intimidated by you. Uh, it's absolutely ridiculous. You know, I would bat that fucking ball right to her fucking head, to be honest. You know what I mean? And, and that's not illegal, by the way. And that happens. And I'm talking about pro baseball, uh, any kind of baseball league. First of all, it, it, it happens. Uh, it's caused fights and stuff. But a pro player will throw every now and then. And it's called a ball. Uh, and he will throw the ball at the guy's head. Now, if he injures the guy, the guy gets a free home run, right? And he just walks and he walks around. And gets, if he can't walk, they, they count the home run for him. But I'm talking about I would just bat that fucking ball right back at her head. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I mean, I mean, I mean, that's what it is. If, if I don't bat it, I'm telling you, somebody's going to bat that ball in her father's head and she doesn't want that. OK, so I'd rather bat it at her head versus her being more hurt by her. Somebody batting her father's fucking head in. You know what I mean? So so uh, so that's a deal. But 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 oh, yeah. So overall, yeah, that's a point. It doesn't matter how content, you know, you've been with yourself that you receive respect or, or, or people have given you an ad admission or, or they're willing to even give you some kind of condition, like, like smallest promissory kind of thing. Like, okay, listen, uh, you will get this, you will get that. Um, just don't bother us. Um, don't, don't become too pushy. Um, just do what you're doing because to be honest, everybody, finds your way of behavior to be considered quite good. And if, to be very honest, if more people were behaving like you, the, you know, everything would run much more smoothly and uh, we would probably have a better day every day. Right. So please keep acting like that. But it's like, listen, we got to we got to meet in the middle. We can't meet. I can't you, I can't dictate to you everything and you can't dictate everything to me. Right. Um, unless you want to experience something. Um, I don't know. Anyway, so the point is, you know, I, I, I will, I, this is, this is what I'm doing lately. Lately, I am taking the initiative, you know, I am taking the initiative where I would let things go. Oh, who cares? I just go on. Who cares, man? You know, you gotta be tough at life and you can't, you can't be sensitive. You know, I'm not, I'm not thinking like that and I'm not being sensitive, but I'm being sensible. That's a, that's a difference. Sensitive and sensible is a different thing. Sensible is real, not, not dumping that feeling out. It's feeling the feeling 
and speaking accordingly or doing accordingly um, as per saying it. And no, I don't believe in full out, you know, craziness because I've already done that. I kind of have that on my record and I can get away with, um, you know, playing the rules the way everybody plays the rules and playing the game everybody plays the game. I don't need to get a technical foul. I don't need to be kicked out of the game. Um, I fucking rob the fucking NBA bank, all right? I rob the fucking NBA bank, um, you know, with something pointed at their head, um, telling them to fucking put money in my hand and taking the fucking secretary, walking her the fuck out of that motherfucking NBA bank and taking that shit and running off. Um, and we're talking about cold hard cash. I don't, I don't, I don't care how you want. You, you can be an idiot and phrase it however you want. Uh, but inside, you know, you don't have the balls to do that. That makes you want to piss your pants. And you know, I did that. And, and we're talking bands here. Yeah, we're not talking whatever, but that's bad. This is not a fucking music video where I'm showing bands and I, my uncle gave me this much and whatnot. You know what I mean? Or I've been saving this uh, for a while. What You know what I mean? This is, this is like, like, that's just bam, bam, pants. All right. So we got that going on. Um, yeah, and that's it. That, that's, that's really all it is. Um, I don't need to do, I don't need to go to that level because I've been to that level. And that's one of the things that, that people even do in, in jail and prison is that it gets you respect and, and people understand. And then you can just play the game the way it is. Most people do get to play the game. Uh, but when someone thinks that somebody thinks has a bigger ego or is capable of more, um, and, and they see you kind of being shy and, and keeping to yourself in order to uh, avoid trouble, uh, you may be pushed to do something like that. But if you're coming in already doing that, um, you can just kind of play the game. And especially if people like your personality or your demeanor in general, uh, it makes it easier to just pretty much play the game, how the game is meant to be played, um, and teach people that that was an old world. That was a shadow world. This, this is your world and I'm in your world and I'm in here permanently and I'm not going anywhere. And I'm going to make sure you give me the due respect that I deserve and, and, and that I'm putting into this. So, uh, whether you like it or not, there's going to be people calling me. There's going to be people saying, what's up, man? You know, um, we got this, you know, what are you, what are you up to? Because, uh, are you up to any opportunities? Would you like to work with us? You know, yes or no. Um, you know, uh, at least meet up with us and let's have a, let's have a coffee and a chat. Anyways, I'm done. Uh, I will come back with the video later.